Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. I'm Akanksha from Psychologic and today's topic is the case study method in psychology. This video is part of a series focused on research methods in psychology. If you like the content of this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. So let's get into it. The case study method is a popular research method used in psychology. It involves examining a particular individual or group in depth and analyzing their behavior, thoughts and emotions. This method is advantageous as it allows researchers to gain a better understanding of complex phenomena that cannot be studied through other research approaches. In this video, we will discuss the case study method in depth and provide examples of how it is used in psychology. The case study method is a qualitative research method that involves collecting data about individuals through interviews, observation and analysis of their history and behavior. This method is described as an empirical inquiry that investigates a particular phenomena in its real-life context. It is commonly used in psychology and social sciences to gain an in-depth understanding of complex human behavior and interaction. The case study method allows researchers to study complex and unique cases that do not fit into the traditional research methods such as experiments or surveys. It involves examining rare or unusual phenomena that cannot be replicated or controlled and are best studied as a unique case. Some examples of how case studies are used in psychology are as follows. Number 1. Phineas Gage Phineas Gage was a railway construction worker who in 1848 survived a severe head injury that damaged his prefrontal cortex. Following this incident, his personality changed significantly and he became impulsive and aggressive. This case study played a crucial role in differentiating between the functions of different areas of the brain and the impact of head trauma on behavior and personality. Number 2. Little Albert Little Albert was an infant who was the subject of a famous case study by John Watson, which aimed to investigate the development of fear in children. Watson exposed the infant to a white rat, a rabbit and a variety of animals. Initially, the infant showed no signs of fear, but after Watson presented the rat along with a loud bang, Little Albert became afraid of the rat. This case study sparked ethical concerns but contributed significantly to our understanding of classical conditioning. Number 3. Jeannie Jeannie was a young girl who was discovered in 1970 after being severely neglected by her parents and kept in isolation for most of her life. Her case study was pivotal in investigating the effects of social isolation and abuse on human development. Jeannie was unable to develop language skills and had difficulty interacting with others. She was studied by a group of researchers over several years to better understand the effects of neglect on cognitive development. The case study method is an important tool in psychology and social science research. It allows researchers to investigate complex behaviors, emotions and thoughts and provide a thorough understanding of unique phenomena. The examples explained in this video demonstrate the value of case studies in psychology and the critical role they play in advancing our knowledge of human behavior. Researchers continue to use case study method today to provide detailed and context-rich data that provides valuable insights into human behavior. So that's it for today's video. If you like quality mental health resources, please check out my Etsy shop. The link is provided in the description box below. 
If you like the content of this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so you are notified when the next video comes out. As always, thanks for watching.